What's going on, everybody? I'm the goods on YouTube, TG Soka, everywhere else. Let's get right to it. Today, I am looking at my own spreadsheet for recruiting. How I like to use this is I like to jump into 2K, a roster with all college teams. Then I'll make a draft class, which is supposed to be basically high school players that are going to come out of high school and go into college. And then I'll pick a few candidates and I'll throw them on this spreadsheet and... Then I'll start recruiting because I have a whole recruiting system. So real quick, I'll just give you the gist of it. I have a little recruiting questionnaire. Actually, let me open up my other form here. All right. All right, so I've got a type of player's name. So let's look at the sheet. Right now, I've got these three players. Uh, I was going to, if I want to add one, then this is what I use to add one. And I'll show you real quick. So like this guy, these pictures can be moved around, by the way. This guy doesn't have a name or anything like that. But once I put this information in, this will be his name. So let's see another one. We'll just enter the information real quickly. I'm not going to explain it. just going to go ahead and enter in some things. Now, I'll get back to this stuff probably in another video or maybe later this video. All right. So, that should have added the player's name to the spreadsheet. Yeah, there it is right there. It tells you his high school rating. So, he's a five-star prospect. 93. Uh, let's take a look at the dashboard all right so here's in black is his interest in the competing school and the competing school for him is air force which i selected but anyway um over here we show the interest his interest in the competing school is 32 interest in my school is 20 so competing school is 12 points ahead uh, I love this dashboard because it tell you it tells you, you know, it breaks down. Okay, fifty percent, fifty percent. Like I've only scouted these two players. It tells you the percentage. It tells you if you got anybody committed to your school. It's right there. It tells you what the players are interested in right here. And then this is just like you can see the black is interest in my interest in the competing school interest in my school is in red so i really like this another aspect of this that i like is right here the player thoughts so like this guy's like i'm all in with the little 100 emoji and it tells you he's committed now up here this guy's saying he's liking my program and then these two i haven't started recruiting just yet i just added them to my list but um they don't have any thoughts yet. So I'm going to go ahead and start recruiting one of those guys. One is named Player 3. The other one is named Another One. So I'm going to do Another One. Make sure you type their names in correctly. Go to Next. Do, 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 do. I just, I just want to do a quick email. Emails, I don't think I have to do any work for emails. So I'm emailing him. Let's see what he's actually, actually interested in. By going here, another one, academics. All right, so go back to my sheet. Let's pitch him on academics. I'll just answer the questions. All right, next. Not at this time. All right, so let's see. Let me see if... It, now, I think these both went up. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so it looks like he... Yeah, he got some in, more interest in my school, but I can also see the other schools been pitching him. So every time you throw out a pitch to recruit a player, the, other, the competing school will also do the same. And the interest in both have gone up. Let's see what he thinks of my school. He said he's checking out schools right now. He's probably not going to commit to us. He's a five-star. 
probably not interested in our school. But anyway, I could, you know, I could continue to recruit this guy. So let's say I'm in 2K. I would just fast forward to the next week. I try to only recruit uh, once or twice a week. So I'm limited. Basically, I limit myself to recruiting one, like just one recruit pitch per recruit a week. So basically, let me show you. If I, the most pitches or the most I will do a visit or email or contact a prospect in a week is just once and the most prospects I will con contact in a week is two so I can have a total of two contacts to a prospect per week I'm sorry a total of two um, recruiting recruiting visits pitches emails whatever you want to call them. so anyway I could just keep keep recruiting these players and you know keep going through my game schedule in game until we get to the point where somebody either wants to commit to my school or they commit to another school. And so I can only add these the players that commit to my team to my team in game. Uh, that's how I do it in 2K. This is how I use it. Uh, hopefully you guys understand what I was saying, but I think this is pretty cool. I like to use this. Disregard the fact this says 2K19. That's when I first made this. But, yeah, I love playing this way. I like it. I actually haven't used this sheet in like two years, and I just got back around to using it. And I'm just like, man, this is, this is it's cool. It's cool. So, we'll see. We'll see. I do have a... I guess I could link you guys. I'll link you guys to the original video where I first talked about this very in-depth. I'm not going to make this video any longer. I'm out.